In today's video, I am going to teach you how you can accomplish any goal in just three steps. If that sounds like it's something that you want to learn how to do, then watch all the way through to the end because that third tip is a big one. And let's get into it right now. Yo, what is up, Seven Nation? It is your boy Joey Kane, sub7fitness.com. And uh, I'm not bragging here, but if I were to say I have accomplished a lot, especially at I just turned 23 years old yesterday. So, you know, for a 23 year old, I have done quite a bit. And don't take me wrong, I will be trying to accomplish so much more, especially in, you know, the next three months, six months, a year, or whatever like that. I'm really trying to grow the YouTube channel right now so I can expand our reach and help more people build the body of their dreams with the lifestyle they enjoy. So if that sounds good to you, definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and help me out. So, the first tip for trying to accomplish any goal, the first really big one, is you want to dive into it. About to dive in. While you're super motivated, really dive right head first into your goals because at the beginning you're going to be the most motivated, you're going to see the fastest results right at like, the very start. So you want to make sure that you're really taking advantage of that. I uh, got a new client recently, his name is Eric, super super good guy and he just sent me a message saying that he lost 5 pounds in just 3 days and he was a little worried about that being too fast to progress. Basically what I told him is you gotta ride the wave, it will slow down eventually, but let's not slow down ourselves, especially because his main goal is fat loss. So if that sounds like you, if you've just jumped into a goal, you're feeling really motivated, definitely take that time, take your energy, take your effort, double it, triple it, quadruple it, because eventually your momentum will slow down some, and that's no good. But it's okay because we will get through it with my second and third tip. But definitely the first one is to jot to jive dive head first into your goals make sure that you know right at the beginning when you have that motivation that you're really 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 going hard after it tip number two is to kaizen kaizen is a japanese term which means never ending continuous improvement basically it's the idea of taking something and practicing it 15 minutes a day every single day i used to play a whole bunch of instruments and i made the mistake of never doing that I uh, was pretty naturally gifted at music, um, and so I would just practice, you know, like an hour once a week. When everyone, you know, music teachers, my parents, they'd always say, you know, practice a little bit, practice 15 minutes every single day. I was like, well, it's the same amount of time either way, right? So it doesn't really matter. That is wrong. If you do something every single day, you kind of have no choice but to get better at it, unless you're doing a horrible job practicing it every day. So definitely, you'll want to work on your goals whatever they are every single day. If you want to get better at fitness, you want to do something. You don't have to work out every day. I only work out three times a week, but I do, you know, I walk on my off days. I do ab workouts on my off days. I make sure that I'm still eating properly on my off days. So everything like that, you're still going to want to do. If you want to make more money, then work at your craft. Work at the thing you want to start a business on a little bit every single day. Then eventually when you can take it full time, you know, it'll be a lot more than 15 minutes but that's something that can really help you out. Same thing with studying for tests, something that I did not do a great job of in college, but I graduated, so that's all that matters. Study a little bit every single day, and then when everyone else is cramming the night before the exam, you won't have to. I wish that I listened to that advice when I was a little bit younger, but it's all right. Tip number three, and this one is huge, because eventually your motivation will start to weigh, and you'll need discipline. Discipline is doing something no matter what. Motivation is doing something when you feel like it. Discipline is more important, but discipline isn't just something you can build magically. It's something you have to work towards. It's almost like a muscle. The more you work it out, the more that you are disciplined, the more you will become disciplined. And so one way that you can make yourself more disciplined, one way you can hold yourself accountable, is something I actually learned from one of my mentors, Jason Capital. And it's a super crazy, you know, ultimate millennial way of keeping yourself accountable. I know millennial and accountable don't always go together, but this is a really, really cool method. So what he uh, said in the video that I watched or a course from him that I took, something I don't remember exactly where it was, he said what you do is you set a goal. If you hit that goal, 
you hit the goal. That's good. If you don't hit that goal, what you do is you Venmo 10 bucks to someone you don't like. Venmo is really cool because no, you know, anyone on your contacts, I think through multiple different apps and uh, mediums, you can see. So what he'll do is if he doesn't hit his goal, he'll send, you know, he'll Venmo someone that he doesn't like 10 bucks. Then if he doesn't hit his goal again, and for every single time after that, that he doesn't hit his goal, he will double the amount. So let's say I wanted to uh, do an ab workout every day this week. Say I, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I do a good job. Let's say Thursday, I'm a little tired. I fall asleep. I didn't do my ab workout. Well, then when I wake up the next day, I'd have to Venmo someone I don't like because you're not going to want to give someone you don't like money, 10 bucks. Then if I were to, you know, let's say I messed up on Saturday, then I'd Venmo him 20 bucks, him or her, or they, whatever. You'd Venmo them 20 bucks. And every single time that you didn't hit that goal, you would continuously Venmo that person more money. That person will love you because you're sending them money randomly, but you will not want to mess up more than once or twice because you're not going to want to send you know, 40 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks to someone you don't like. So those are three tips that you can do to hit any goal out there, whether it's fitness, whether it's money or finances, whether you're studying for a test, trying to graduate from college, anything like that, you will be able to accomplish that goal if you take those three steps. I hope that this video was super helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you do any of these tips already, if you know any of them really stuck out to you. I know when I learned that accountability trick, it was real crazy for me because I don't like spending money. I don't really ever spend money on myself. And so I really don't want to spend money on people I don't like. And then uh, drop a comment about that. You know, Let me know if there's any other tips you think I should know and I would be happy to make a video on them later if they're really good. And then also hit that subscribe button Turn on the notification bell and make sure that you never miss out on the info you need to build the body of your dreams with the lifestyle you enjoy. This has been Joey Kane from Sub7 Fitness and as always I'll see you in the next one.